Welcome back to Mother 3! Megapaw, I'm sorry I was so useless. Anyways, this is the Village Bazaar. If you need anything, just go ahead and take it. And I did already go ahead and take it. I took a Flea Charm, which increases my defense by 5 as opposed to 2. And I also got a Running Bomb, which I imagine attacks everybody. It does. There's also an edible mushroom here, but I don't really want it. If you're lucky, you'll find a better stick for Megapaw. I think Lighter had something to give you, too. You should be at the beast, beast. The beast of the east beach west of here. And yes, it's actually called the better stick. I believe it's the best weapon that Megapaw can get here in Chapter 1. So allow me to get whatever item it is that Lighter wants to give me. Last item I got from him was weapon base, so I should probably talk to him again. No doubt Killjoy is intent on avenging Megamaw. You better go after him and fast. I'll let you borrow this. Receive the mainly bandana. Are you sure? You sure you want it back? Don't worry. I washed it. It's clean. Well, if it's clean. Let's look at it here. Offense up two, defense up by one. So my defense goes down by two, but my offense goes up by two. That seems like a worthwhile trade. I could just stiffen my body if I need defense. And if I fluke out and get the better stick before the end of this chapter, then... Even better. So I don't know if this episode's gonna be 20 minutes long or an hour long, but it's gonna be the finale of chapter one. Mr. Megapaw, what's wrong? Why the long face? Come stop by our place. We're baking nut bread. How is that so? My mommy can bake bread and cookies out of nuts you bring her. She can make a cookie with one, and she can make bread with three. It's really yummy stuff. Mr. Megapaw, here, please have this. Oh, she's just ponying up nut bread for no good reason. I didn't even give her any of my nuts. This is the bread Megamon I used to make all the time. Oh, that's so sweet. Please cheer up, okay? I'm sure that's what Megamaw wants, too. That was awfully thoughtful. Your wife died, so, so here's some bread. I don't know what else to do in this situation. That's probably about the best thing you could do. No, is it this way? No, I want to go, I believe it's this way. And go back to the... Go back to Mega Paws Paws place. Let me show you this barn burning enemy right here. A praying mantis. That was tough. I suppose I should try to nab its back sprite. Because I don't know when I'll get the chance to nab a lot of these back sprites now. Oh, and have you seen me fight one of these mice yet? Probably not. Can I get the hang of this music? Probably not. Greedy Mouse has taught a lesson in musical ass-kickings. And I got some peculiar cheese, which depending on the character does more or less damage. Oh, I didn't get a back jump on him. But I'll kill you in one blow. Ahaha, <laughs> I am so powerful destroying mantises. Manti? Ooh, I got a nut. Uh, no, I don't want to throw anything away. Yes, I'll, uh, I'll give up on the nut. Bear with me as I attempt to get back sprites. Yeah, back sprite. Yeah, look at that mouse butt. Yeah, that was that was beneficial. So let us continue onward. Did I get any of these back sprites? I probably didn't get a flying mouse back sprite. Not that it's really necessary, I mean, I already... It's already on hard mode. Some songs I just can't get the hang of. That Flying Mouse song is a perfect example. There's gonna be a few other songs I won't get the hang of either. This totally isn't the correct way. I went too far north. I should have taken the left turn at Albuquerque here. In my way, stupid snake. Back sprite? No back sprite. Later in the game, you can listen to enemies' heartbeats, and heartbeats mean 
that you can see what the <clears throat> the musical rhythm is to any given song. So I might have to practice up on that song and get the hang of it. Because I think it's slightly off beat. Now might be a good chance to show off the peculiar cheese. Cheese that you either love or hate. HP restored varies from person to person. So let's try this on Megapaw. Megapaw loves cheese and recovers 60 HP from it. So it's a good thing that I used it there. Ooh, let's fight this enemy. Why am I pushing this enemy around? I, I thought I could fight it. Why, why can't I fight this enemy? Oh, I have to talk to it. But I'll, uh... But if you just stand here and defend, <clears throat> eventually it just heals you, and then it runs away. There, am I full health now? I'm not gonna kill this enemy just because it's so nice to me. I'll, uh... I wanted to back sprite these guys. But no, we got three spud bugs. I didn't realize that Megapaw was a potato. But apparently I'm mistaken. Because these bugs seem to... Well, maybe that's the problem. He doesn't have potatoes, so they're really angry. And if I came here with a potato, they'd probably beg me for said potato. But otherwise leave me... B. Don't be life up A-ing everybody after I went to all that trouble to do swing multiple times. So I'd be better off just comboing the rest of them. Oh, you're gonna call for help too? Yeah. One hit knockdown. Let's make it the two one hit knockdown. And let's make this a combo knockdown. Except I couldn't. It survived. But if I got the better stick, that probably would have went a little more smoothly. Maybe I should talk to this guy again. <clears throat> there, abuse the free heals while I can get them. Ah, oh, it's a save frog. I give the last frog your regards. Hey, warthog looking warthog. An agitated boar. It was in the washing machine, was it? Ah, oh, 15. That doesn't count. 1. That doesn't count either. That's better. This thing's taken more of a shellacking than I figured it would. But that's what happens when you play on hard mode. Things take longer to beat up. But if you know how to combo, it kind of mitigates the hard mode. So I guess in the second playthrough, it just means that normal mode doesn't become easy mode because you're good at combos. Well, I'm just going to take this treasure. Beef jerky. That's a 60 HP kind of deal. Aw. Ooh, that good-for-nothing son of a boar dropped a beef jerky, so I may as well use it. Use one of these beef jerkies. I don't want to have all my space occupied with, well, things that are less useful than stuff I may pick up later. You already saw those guys, so hey. Did you see them from behind? I can't remember. I will show you from behind, however. There, you saw him from behind. Oh, come on. There, showed him what's what. From behind. Oh yeah, I forgot about these frag rock lizards. Crag lizards. What about the Bartholomew lizards? Or the Jonathan lizards? You're sturdy. Let's just do a strengthen up, see if it's even worth my while to do so. It may be. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that was really worth the effort. I would have been better off using defense than offense. 
but I killed it before it drained all my HP from that attack. Aquarius bracelet. Let us equip that so I get an extra five defense. I can also probably throw away... No, I still have room for one more thing, so I'll just... I won't start throwing things away quite yet. Is this way I want to go? I'm fairly certain. I'm relatively confident. Yeah, that's where the, uh, the ants blocked me from going earlier. Do you say the same stuff? Cluck, cluck, why are you chasing me? Please don't chase after me. Please don't chase birds. Why not? It's so much fun. Hey, it's a mouse. Not, wa not wasting food is a commendable thing, but, does that, but it does make things a little harder for me. Well, you're not wasting it if you eat it. Wherever and wherever cows go, moo. I want to see a pig... What? I want to see a pig seeing the ocean. I want to see the ocean. I get the reoccurring theme of the pig and the pig's friend. Hey, Meg Grandpa. What's going on? Talk to me. Oh, you made it. Traveling through the forest has become quite dangerous indeed. That idiot Megaharve wouldn't have made it now. What were those extremely bizarre flying mouse things with bud wings, anyway? Seems one bit me right on the head, too. I've healed up perfectly, though. It's a good thing I wore this hat, or else it would have been a much larger wound. I know where Killjoy might have gone. Where did Killjoy might have gone? According to my froggy intelligence. He's at my friend's house. Oh, so you put the frogs up to saving stuff, Alec? Is there more to you than meets the eye? Let's head there right now. Certainly, let us head there right now. So we have Alec with some backup. And I'm gonna go back up to the bazaar, because I might be able to get the better stick now. Megapaw, when I said froggy intelligence just now, you thought, what, didn't you? Frogs work for my friend as messengers. Frogs work for my friend. So not you, but for your friend. My friend is able to talk with frogs, lizards, and what have you. See that lizard over there, for instance? We need to go in the direction it tells us. Oh, that, that good old arrow lizard. Well, I'm not gonna go the direction it's telling me, because I want to go back to the bazaar. You have doubts about this friend of mine, don't you? My friend, no friends, are known as the Mad Gypsies. They've lived isolated away from civilization for a very, very long time. Is that so? That's what Megapaw said. I am a lizard. I'll show you which direction you need to go. Round and round we go. Where I stop, soon you will know. That is a fact. Probably downwards, yes. But again, I'm gonna go to the bazaar, and we will see what kind of items are in store. Alright, so there is nothing much at the bazaar. Just an ancient banana, which I picked <laughs> wrong. I am the wrong frog. Right, right, right! Frog! The right frog! But you would be... You're the frog on my right. But to your right, the left frog for me would be the right frog for you. D I, that's more than my feeble mind can comprehend right now. <clears throat> it's halfway to a paradox. Halfway to putting my boats on a paradox. Ribbit, ribbit, rabbit, ribbit. Well said. Yeah, I got an ancient banana. It has a chance of slipping certain foes. So let's talk to the Mad Gypsies. Just... Words won't do this justice, so... Oh, welcome, you scary-looking gentleman. Is that Alec? It is, it is. Good to see you, Snookums. My, my, who are these two? Don't be rude, Ionia. Introduce us. Of course, where are my manners? This is my good friend Alec. And who's this with you? So that's who the frogs work for. Megapaw, you say? Well, it's very nice to meet you. Now let us get all properly introduced. You're in luck. We're having a party today. Nearly all of us are here. First we have Aeolia. Then there's Doria. Aeoli. Phrygia, Lydia, and that one over there is Mixolydia. The only one that's not here is Locria. You can call me Ionia. Hmm. You can't remember all that? Of course not. That's why I just introduced you, darling. Isn't that how it works? Right, Alexipu? That doesn't have a good ring to it. It's been a while. I'm glad to see your well. <clears throat> I didn't know that the Mad Gypsies had a well. They seem to have a she seashell by the seashore. I hear you helped my grandson kill Joy. Do you know where he might have went? Yes. Yes, we do. Oh, you mean that little rambunctious squirt from a while ago? I suppose this Megapaw fellow is his father. 
Hmm. Yeah, I can see the resemblance now. You have the same beard. So what about Killjoy? Where is he? Oh, he took off. He was in a great hurry, mentioning something about avenging his mother. I was feeling generous at the time, so I sent him on his way with a super powerful Psy technique. I doubt he'll be able to use it easily, though. <clears throat> is it like PSI suck at Omega? So he left then? And you didn't stop him? What happens to him if something happens to him? Oh, get over yourselves. Hey now, we couldn't care less about you humans. Here one minute and gone the next. You poor little things barely live a hundred years, if that. That's a blink of an eye to us mad gypsies. Why would anyone bother to care about such short lives? It's a valid point. Now, now. Mixolatia. Phrygia. Humans worry about such short lives. I know that's not how that's pronounced. But that's the pronunciation I will likely go with. For the remainder of this series. I don't care if you understand or not. Just tell us where Killjoy went. The boy headed for the Dragon Plateau. Quite rambunctious, I might add. Barely seemed concerned about his own short little life. <clears throat> if you go now, you might just catch him in time. Dragon Plateau, you say? Megapa, let's hurry there. I'm gonna make one last trip to the bazaar. Megapa, the quickest way to get to the Dragon Plateau is through the cave behind this house. Killjoy probably went through that cave too. There's nothing to worry about, Megapa. But you're not gonna get very far being as tense as you are. What you need to do is smile, understand? No. My wife just died. Come on now, that's no good. Smile and relax. I can be happy and not smile. It's, it's one of my traits. Oh, I actually can't go back right now? Well, that's so much for me going to the bazaar. Oh well. No big deal. Did I talk to this cow yet? In the mood for a milking? Um, I can't be milked. In the traditional sense, anyway. But let's try it! You can't hold any more stuff. I don't know if any of it's good or not. Would I be better off getting a little bit of milk? Not really. Like, I could throw away some of the, uh... Some of these bracelets, because you can't really store them. And you can't sell things for money yet. Megapa. It's pitch dark in here, but never fear. I've been through here many a time. Just leave it to me. But more importantly, that super serious look in your face will only bring us trouble. You gotta relax, understand? Oh god, you and your directions. Keep going west at this fork of the road. Okay, I'll listen to you this time. I think there is treasure down here, but nothing super important. We go north here. Stop for a second. There should be a hole around here. Find it and then jump right down in it. Where could it be? Oh, right next to this monster. I am going to use my x-ray vision to see if I missed anything, like this treasure right here. Oh, that's a monster right here. So more x-ray vision. This is the long way around. If we're up to me, we jump down that hole, but whatever works. I don't know, I actually got an extra flavor text for that. Oh, there's actually a path here. Um, I want to go back then. Oh, I could just run through them? I didn't want to actually go down the hole, but I suppose I can crawl back up. Southeast passage. Well, it's both south and east, and I will look at this treasure. Beef jerky. There must be... I must have worse healing I can use right now. Yeah, like a baked yam, for instance, is worse healing. So that was beneficial. Okay, so I can't go any more east here. So continue south. Oh, mega pay. Mega Pie Poo. This was Mag Gypsy impression. Did you like it? I don't ever want to taste Mega Pie Poo. Mega Poo Pie. I'll tell you this one early in advance. Head south at the next fork. I'm not listening to you. This is probably the way down from earlier. Yeah, it appears to be. I'm just gonna not go back there now. So if I miss the treasure, my sincerest apologies. Head west from here. No, I'm gonna go east and get whatever this is. Oh, I'll get the other running bomb. There, I got rid of my mini mini charm. If it's that mini, it shouldn't take up a full inventory space. But I digress. Wait. Oh, thanks. Was that you? Just kidding, it was me. Obviously it wasn't me. Let's pretend I fought that. Hold on a sec. I've been so forgetful lately. 
Which way was it again? Was it north? I'm pretty sure it, there's a vine to the north. We need to vine it and climb up it. I think that's... A, oh, come on. <clears throat> like, I know I don't have to go north, but I'm not sure if there's actually something up here. Megapa, you're allowed to laugh at that pun just now. Did you notice it? I said we have to vine the vine. You know, instead of find. Was that not funny? No, it was funny, I just knew you made the joke. A dead end. Sorry, Megapa. Looks like we should have gone west at that fork in the path. Okay, so never trust you again. Got it. Got it. There, I... I vound it. I vinded it. North here, head north. No, I'm gonna fight that lizard over here instead. Oh, and it's a dead end. It's a dead end, all right. There's a dead crag lizard at the end. Should I run? Mega pay pie. Okay, enough of the Magipsy oppressions. Don't be so embarrassed. <laughs> so I can't help but feel that I'm getting attacked here. I probably shouldn't lollygag so much. I could, uh... We're as good as there now that we've made it this far. Now we just need to head upward and climb up some vines. The vines go up because they're divine. hey -o! There's another crag lizard down there. I can see it with my x-ray vision. But I don't think there's a treasure, so I'm not gonna fight it. I'm not gonna fight that mole, either. Uh, I might- oh yeah, I can just run through them, I forgot. Uh, nothing- nothing over here. Except... Well, I guess I'm not really killing- what am I fighting? Oh, another Mr. Batty? That's Batty that there's one here this far down. That was eventful. Okay, so... What? Oh. Did I just find another one? Yeah, I did. I want to find the exit. There, it's been found. I probably don't need to be fighting any of these things. Seeing as I... killed the soot dumpling. I should probably talk to you. Uh, yes, I'll save the game and give that last frog his regards to you. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. No promises. I'll do what I can, though. Well, I gotta explore down here quickly. See what's about. Beef jerky. I don't really need the beef jerky. Oh. It's these guys again. Let's rumble. Or tussle. No, you're just gonna run away. But you're pigs, not chickens. In only a few seconds, the Enteron heals you. Yes. I have all kinds of food, so I don't have to worry about not being hungry. I think it's obligatory to make the reference of either... Like, say you're playing any Earthbound games, you have to make that Chrono Trigger reference. But if you're playing Chrono Trigger, you have to make some sort of, like, instant revitalization device reference. It's only fair, right? Both RPGs on the Super Nintendo. They came out around- I think they both came out the same year, 95. But anyway, let's, uh, let's hustle a bit more. And tussle with this titany. Titany? Oh yeah, the song that I can't combo, great. Is this bad? I'll just- I'll just mash and hope I get two hits every so often. I'm gonna have to listen to this enemy's heartbeat later. So I remember the timing to this song. I think there might be a random beat that pauses at some point. I can't make sense of this song just by ear. Like, the parts where it wants me to stop, it just isn't clear to me. And where it exactly wants me to follow along, but... Anything else up here? Oh, we got, got ourselves a little birdie. A balding eagle suddenly attacked. Oh, I have something in common with this eagle. And there can be only one! The balding eagle became tame. It became more than tame. It became murdered. There's lots of beef jerky around here. 
I know I don't want to throw anything away, but I may as well use a beef jerky if it's in such a plentiful supply. I also can't go into my equipment to locate beef jerky. That's not how you use beef jerky in this game. Fight this tree? No, I can't fight this tree. Ooh, fresh lumber. It's better than nothing. Uh, speed's still down by one, but my offense goes up by ten. That seems... That seems exquisite. So let's get rid of the old lumber. We'll put it back in this treasure in case someone else ever wants it. So let's make a deal. If my camera runs out before the end of this episode, I will just continue on this episode. With just my voice. Because of the way I have this system rigged up. But I'm just gonna... Just gonna hustle. There might be some more stuff to find, but it's, it's not quiz essential to our quest. Oh, it's that baby Drago. Maybe that's the one that murdered my wife. Let's find out. I can't actually pick this up, can I? This is one of Killjoy's favorite shoes. This belongs to Killjoy, and that was a baby Drago just now. Killjoy must be around here somewhere. Kinda hope he's around here alive somewhere. Anything good? Just some nut bread. Screw you, tree. I'm on to your sick game. I'm pretty sure it explodes a la Mother 2. I could be mistaken, but I don't think I am. They only call the eagles, so you don't have to worry about multiple tree explosions ruining your day. I need to pay more attention to the combo. Although I'm not really sure what's faster anyway. Yeah, that was a violent explosion, because the weather has been... It has been dry according to certain townspeople. Ooh, I got another level. Never want to run out of those. Oh, get out of here, trees. Trees, Louise. Beef jerky. May as well... May as well do that. It'd be great if you could just use stuff that you pick up. Already use stuff that enemies drop. Oh, there's another tree. With a very slumped over child looking rock formation holding it. Presumably offering foreshadowing for our quest. Where are you? Uh oh. That sounds foreboding. Oh, so you're like that reconstructed caribou, but you're a Drago. So you're probably the one that killed my wife, so I shall exact revenge from you at that moment. Oh, that's still kind of a Drago. It's not not a Drago. It's very Drago-like. I am quivering in my boots. He looks like he has all his teeth, though, so it might be a different one. So, first things first, use that fang or else you won't do any damage to this. There. <laughs> that sounded very, very effective, that sound. Pierce right through the Mecha Drago's tough hide. And the Mecha Drago let out a howl, and I understand why. Oh yeah, just bellow a war cry. Lower my offense, eh? Well, I'm gonna mitigate your offense lowering. How do you like them apples? And you don't do big damage. So let's do a little more strength up. And then start tossing a bunch of bombs on these this guy. It's not these guys, unless they have some sort of symbiotic relationship. I am uncertain. It's probably also weak to thunder, since it's, you know, somewhat electric. Ooh, and I made it numb! Well, it couldn't have been that numb, because it just did a, an attack. How much damage do the running bombs do? Is it worth it? No, probably not. Oh yeah, just keep stomping me. But I'll use use some of this healing I must have, like this peculiar cheese. This is the last fight of chapter one, so you may as well just go ahead and kill it. I'm 14. I didn't lose that much damage. I should probably use... Oh, I'm glad that actually worked for one of the attacks. I should probably also raise my defense. 
Because I brought too much offense stuff and didn't bring very much defense stuff. That's painful. Uh, maybe I should try... Well, I'll eat the beef jerky. I wonder if the ancient banana would even work on it. I don't know if it's worth using a turn on. It is worth using the thunder bomb again. Because it might... I thought I had another one. No, I guess not. So yeah, let's try the ancient banana, because why not? Yeah, slip violently. I'm probably gonna lose, because I didn't bring enough healing. I got a little bit of healing, though. If I do mad comboing, I might be okay. <laughs> not if I keep doing that. That's not my definition of mad comboing. You may have noticed that was more calm comboing. It was a combo, alright. That's a little bit better. Now it's the flames that I don't want. I am susceptible to flames. And I got another baked yam, I may as well use that. It's more healing than I thought I had. Keep those 16 hits going. Oh, it's actually dead already. I am impressed with myself. The thunder bomb probably didn't hurt. Oh yeah, take forever to die while you're at it. Okay, good. And I earned experience for no good reason. But any time in a game where I fight an enemy and I don't get experience from it, even if it's a final boss, it annoys me just on principle. It's like, why is this enemy not giving me experience while all the other ones did? Like, it's still... I gain no experience from that fight? I could go back and fight the first enemy in the game and still get one experience, but the final Universal Cosmic Destroyer won't give me any experience? Like, I get that it's not useful at that point, but... It's just, just kind of a... just kind of gets my grits, you know? And now I am about to do to this little Drago what that big Drago did to me. Thus is the circle of life and the food chain. Quick, don't do that. You'll make it its only child to go through what Killjoy and Megahar have had to. Yeah, I know. Then I know at least I'm not the only one. Nah, Megapaw can't do that. Now you put it in... Oh, he was gonna anyway. Forgot about that. But the, but the baby's gonna protect her mommy. So now, we have to murder the baby in cold blood. Aw, still has feelings. See, it's still a Drago. It was, it was sad for its, for its mommy. And it just leaves it up to interpretation for you if we murder the child or not. And there is, um, Killjoy. It is possible that until now, the people of Tasmili had never known sadness. We didn't get the game soon enough, so it's possible there was other sadness. On sunny days and cloudy days, they always greeted each other with smiles. They lived in harmony with the creatures of the forest. The strong would help the weak, and those who had would, sh would share with those who had not. However, it appears that the villagers have learned all too much about sadness. Suddenly, everything is changing for the worse. This is very foreboding Breath of Fire style music, if you ask me. It gives me Breath of Fire flashbacks. When did this change begin? Where did it begin? What set it in motion and why? Almost as if toys, the peaceful animals are being transformed into strange, ferocious creatures that attack people. Some people, like Megapaw, have even had their families torn apart. Just what is the suspicious group that wears pig masks? What are these eerie pr objects that soar through the once beautiful skies? And where could the missing Killjoy be? Right there. I found him. The mysteries continue to pile up, and so the tale first begins. As a tragedy. Yeah, this game, unlike Mother 2 Earthbound, which kind of deceives you by being a completely innocent parody RPG, which it is in a lot of uh, extents, this one just kind of gets straight to the depressing. 
there's, doesn't really pull any punches. Like, it's still silly and whatnot, but there's a... Uh, it's definitely much a heavier tone. Hello, I'm a frog. Shall I record everything that has happened so far? Yeah, you better. That would likely be a good idea. And this would probably be the best place to end the video, seeing as we are between chapters. So thank you very much for joining me for today's edition of Mother 3, the finale of Chapter 1. I still go by Megaharve. And join me next time.